Introducing the Combat Medical Bladder Recirculation System, the latest innovation for delivering HIVEC for the treatment of non-muscle invasive bladder cancer. The system comprises of a touchscreen, peristaltic pump, heat exchanger slot, connections for the temperature and pressure monitoring cables, bubble trap mount and disposable kit support with the cables and kit fitted as shown. The on-off switch is on the back of the system and on the final side we have the RFID reader and the USB port located under the dust cover which is removed as shown. Next we have the disposable single-use kit. Each kit comes in a sterile pouch and contains the aluminium foil heat exchanger, connections to the Foley catheter with a red three-way stopcock drainage port and a blue three-way stopcock installation port. A pressure sensor connection and a temperature probe connection as shown. There is a thin silicon tube to feed into the peristaltic pump, a pressure sensor and a bubble trap. In addition, there is a waste bag and connection tubing. A three-way 16 French coude tipped catheter is included in every kit. The sterile pouch also has an RFID tag embedded onto it to prevent accidental reuse. This will vary from hospital to hospital and local procedures will dictate the exact process in your department. The following gives a guide to general requirements. Absorbent pads and a waterproof sheet to protect the patient from spillage. A sterile, single-use combat medical bladder recirculation kit. For priming, an appropriate volume of the diluent used in the preparation of the chemotherapy agent, in this example saline. 5-10 to millilitres of sterile water for use in the inflation of the catheter balloon. An appropriate local disinfectant. A 10 mil syringe for catheter balloon inflation and needle if necessary for drawing up the fluid. Sterile powder free gloves. Two sterile male Lua Lock 60ml syringes. Sterile medical gauze. And a disposable syringe of lubricant, local anaesthetic, and antiseptic gel. Insert the blue temperature probe cable into the port marked with a picture of a person. Double click to fully insert. Fit the grey pressure cable into the lower port, making sure to align the probe correctly. Next, open the kit onto the sterile field. The red and white tip covers are left in place throughout the setup procedure. For easy access and to maintain sterility, place both tubes on the support hook. Next, position the bubble trap into the bubble trap holder with the blue valve pointing upwards. Slide the aluminium heat exchanger into the slot, being careful not to damage the foil and ensuring it is fully inserted. The red tubing will be uppermost at this point. Then, feed the thin silicon tubing into the peristaltic pump from the left hand side moving the pump in a clockwise direction as you feed. Close the pump lid when completed. Once trained, mounting the kit is a quick, easy and reproducible procedure. The next stage is to connect the grey pressure sensor cable to the disposable kit, aligning the arrows and using the push and click method. The blue temperature probe cable has a different fitting, but similarly will fit only one way as shown. Once these steps have been completed, you can now turn the machine on via the green on-off switch at the back of the system. The machine will self-check for approximately one minute. Only once this is successfully complete will the start button and device ready text appear. 
At this point, you will need to validate the kit by placing the RFID chip on a sterile pouch on the RFID reader on the side of the system. You can now proceed to priming the disposable kit. To begin, press the orange highlighted Yes button and the screen will show the priming checklist. This starts with inverting the bubble chamber in the holder so that the blue valve is facing downwards. Tick each step to confirm that it has been done. Next, ensure that the red three-way stopcock is positioned so that it is in line with the tubing. Open to the catheter connection, open to the system and close to the red screw cap on the drainage port. And confirm. Now take the blue three-way stopcock, turning it so that it is open to the white screw cap on the installation port, open to the system and close to the catheter connection. And confirm. Next, remove the white screw cap, keeping it for later, and attach a 60ml Luolox syringe filled with your priming solution, the same fluid that is used to dilute the chemotherapy drug, saline or sterile water are most commonly used, and confirm. Finally, and without removing the red tip cap, place the tip of the red three-way stopcock tubing into a collection pot, and again tick the touch screen box when complete and press continue. The system is now ready to be primed. Press prime and apply slight pressure to the syringe plunger for around 3 seconds to help the pump begin the priming process. The pump will then automatically draw the priming fluid into the kit. Once the pump stops, check that all the tubing is primed and that there are no air bubbles visible. and confirm. Now check that the bubble trap is full of fluid with no air present and confirm. Finally, reposition the bubble trap chamber in the upright position with the blue valve pointing upwards. At this stage you may remove the syringe and replace the white screw cap. Having confirmed, the treatment screen will appear and you are ready to move to the next stage of the procedure.